Raz, raz, dva, raz, raz. Christoph, good to see you. How was the uh, fight camp coming in? How was your preparation? How are you feeling coming into fight week? Hello, everybody. Um, preparation was very long, very smart, and very hard. I started to train like in the beginning of January. Uh, I come back for my right shoulder surgery. So I was having a holiday like a six months. So after <laughs> this, I just come back to the work and work really, really hard for this fight. Well, if, if your holiday is working hard, our holidays are very different from each other. But, but how is the how is the the shoulder? How are you feeling? My shoulder, my our body is perfect for right now. I hope so. Will be the same after the fight, and I feel I feel great for this time. When you've been training this long, leading into the fight, you know it's been quite some time. What's been the toughest thing? Just trying to stay motivated, knowing that you know the fight is still so far away. You know, for me, it was always, I was very close to like ranking or very close for a good fight and then I have an injury again. So this preparate, I was focused to train, but train smart. Don't get injured again in a training and I can't fight again, you know. So I was training smart, I train, if I was tired, I just take the one day break and I come back next day and everything was great with this camp. I was going to say, by, when, by switching up, does that help make the, the, the routine feel fresh? Does it get, keep you in more excited to, to go back in the gym since you switched it up a little bit? Yeah, I think so too because nobody wants to go to the gym and feel like, oh, my shoulder hurts, my leg hurts, my fist hurts, my head hurts, you know. So this camp, I try to be fresh every day and come to the fresh, to the training, come to fresh for the sparring and be healthy for all. I'll come because I'm not the young the fighter. I'm fight like a long time in the UFC, like eight years. So I'm 31 years old. So I need to be a little smarter now. And you definitely have a lot of experience and your opponent across the way has a lot of experience as well. When they gave you the name Sean Strickland, what was your initial thoughts on him and where is he dangerous and what are you expecting when you, when you step into the octagon? I think uh, Sean have a very good condition like me. So this is not the guy who will be tired. And he have a phenomenal boxing, like very, very technical boxing. And I think this is what I see from his good side. And then when, is it about, or about just getting in there, getting the win, or do you, do you need to have a definitive finish? Do you need to have a, a great showing, or is it just about getting that win and getting back on the, you know, getting that first win for the year? You know, I don't want to predict the fights. But I can tell you I give my best in this fight. That's all we could hope for. Best of luck. You, you, mentioned, you mentioned a second ago you, were, you felt you were close to the rankings. You were, um, you, you were right there. You are you're getting there. Um, he has that 15 next to his name. I know it's not the highest ranking, but he does have that ranking. How important is it to beat him and to, to get in there? I think the fight is very important for me because after the fight I come back for the ranking and... I think now I'll be healthy and I can compete with the fighters with the ranking. So I think this is a very important fight for me. Do, do, does, it, does it do something for you? Just to, like, as, like, does it mean anything to you to have that number? Like, it, it doesn't mean much, but like, for you to see that on the paper to say, you know, I'm number 14 or I'm number 13, would that mean something? You know, it means I have fun doing this, you know. And I want to keep going, keep going and keep going. And this is what I want to do. You know, I want to do this what I love in my life. You had a long winning streak. You lost three in a row and then won three in a row. Like, does your mindset change? Does, does when you're on a streak, does it affect how you're thinking? Does it add confidence or are you always pretty much the same? Uh, before I lose this, I have the three lose streak. I make a lot of bad decisions decision in my life, in my career, and I was come to the fight with a broken left hand for two fights with the David Branch and Uriah Hall. And after I fight Brad Tavares and I was coming back too fast because I was waiting, waiting with the in injuries. I was like hungry to come back, but stupid to come back because I come back too fast and 
this will happen is my thrillers. You just get, you just find yourself getting too, like I have to do it. I have to go fight. I have to go win. Yes, exactly. I just do this because oh, I have to do. I have to do because I lose two fights in a row and I don't fight now six months. And in this fight, I was no the right place. You know, mentally, I, I can say now I was feeling like scary. I don't feel the distance. I was feel not not right in this fight. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.